You know, I'm still reflecting, just lying down on my bed, you know, about this um, Fulani attacks in uh, in several areas in Nigeria, okay? And then I, I bumped into this video of this guy who claims to be a Fulani person. I'm not sure whether he is or not. There's so much uh, that's flying online, so you're careful about what you believe or what you don't believe. But just let's assume that he's a Fulani man. And he made this video and he's still advising that Fulani people should focus on uh, reclaiming the north, like attacking the north and reclaiming the north. And I'm wondering, uh, the, the same north where you have like Hausa people, where you have indigenes, I don't think that's the best solution. Me, I think, but you know what, watch this video, then you'll understand what my advice is. Or I'll advise him at the end of this video, but watch this video and see what he has to say. 200 people have been unalived in Nigeria during the Christmas break and they blame my people, Fulani people, for it. This is my statement. Fulani people, you don't know yourself. You are ignorant of who you are and you are ignorant of your history, which is why you do the wrong thing at the wrong time. You are not from Nigeria. Why are you creating problems with Nigerian people? You are not from Ghana. You are not from Cameroon. Ya Pullo, Felatiin. You are descendants of Umayyad conquerors. You are the Moors that invaded Spain. Your nature is to want to spread Islam, but you cannot spread Islam in certain areas in certain time periods. If you do it, it will be by force and it's not going to work. As nomadic people, the future is not to keep on going more and more south into the lands that your ancestors called the Sudan and invade farmers' land. The future of the nomads is to take back the north, which is your ancestral lands as Fulani people. So, my advice to this guy it's not for Fulani people to go back and try to be conquering the north or anywhere at all in Nigeria. But just like anybody, they are welcome, in my opinion, to live. I don't hate Fulani people. They are welcome to live in any other part of Nigeria or any other part of the world. But learn to live at peace with the people. Now, your host, you have to learn to live at peace with your host. Not take over their land, kill them, take over their farmland. No. Learn to, when you come into a place, pay for land. Pay for everything that they let you use. And don't destroy the thing that you meet in the place. That is the solution to, uh, to, to cohabitation of the Fulani tribe and their hosts.